You want to make sure you actually set your torso before each repetition when you lift your arm and your opposite leg because you don't want any twisting, bowing, rotation, any of that stuff. So I really love the body row as an exercise, or some people call it the inverted row. But I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to do it with a towel grip. So the row is just a pulling exercise, great for the mid, back, and biceps. Again, you have to use your core stabilizers just equal and opposite to when we do push-ups. We're going to be using our glutes, our hamstrings, our back extensors to maintain our stable, neutral back position. Using the towels puts a little more load on my forearms, on my grip strength, which is great too because, you know, no goalie wants to have the stick knocked out of their hand or, you know, having stronger grip strength will help you um, shoot the puck around the boards a little bit better. So that's why we use the towels. So we're going to go here. We're going to grip right up close to the bar. We're going to get our body in a nice straight line position and pull straight up till our hands are right at our side. So again, not letting our shoulders shrug up, keeping them down, pulling our elbows back. If you do this on a power rack like I'm doing it, just make sure that the bar is pulling into the power rack. I wouldn't want to do it the other way with my feet the other way because there is a chance I could pull the bar out of these safety hooks and then I would land up in a heap with the bar on top of me. So we don't want that safety first, always. I mentioned already the farmer's carry with the kettlebell, which I really like. Another carry that I like is the waiter's carry. So in this position, elbow at 90 degrees, shoulder at 90 degrees, carrying that kettlebell down and back the length of the gym. Again, we go about 10 meters in each arm. And I'm not death gripping that handle. I'm trying to get this stack position so it's really balanced there. And if I put my hands here, I feel my abdominals tight. Definitely my shoulder stabilizers are working. So it's kind of a nice exercise. Um, it's what Greg Cook, I think, would call a self-limiting exercise. If you don't have the shoulder stabilization, you're not gonna be able to hold that kettlebell there. This is shoulder internal and external rotation. Watch out for the cheater move, which is to grab the kettlebell on the corner, because then it's a lot easier to just kind of hold it with your grip when you could never do that by grasping it in the middle and keeping that nice position as you walk.